we work in communication for development, which is a, uh, a discipline that has uh, started in FAO back in the uh, 60s. And communication for development is based on um, different approaches which aim at establishing a dialogue uh, and building consensus among beneficiaries of the project. The usual approach is to carry out, uh, uh, as a first step, a needs assessment of the information and the communication needs. So, first of all, what type of information are people looking for? In terms of tools, um, what communication tools are best suited to reach these audiences? So it could be the rural, local rural community radio, but it could also be the state radio or state uh, television. Uh, in some cases, we also have to rely on more traditional tools like face-to-face uh, -face discussions, but with a, um, a leader of the community. The important thing is to ensure that we have sufficient data, such as you know obvious data like you know the language that the people uh, speak. Considering that in most developing countries there are various local uh, languages, not just dialects, but you know, proper languages. Communication habits, which is, you know, when do people listen to radio or to TV? Uh, when are they uh, more willing to discuss development issues? Uh, in many countries or in many communities, um, people have set areas where they can gather and then they can discuss their issues and eventually even uh, send their, their solutions or their proposals back to the uh, to the decision makers in the, in the capital city. A typical example of this is uh, uh, sometimes uh, we take for granted that we prepare a communication package for a given community and that package is going to work everywhere else in a country or in another neighboring country. Uh, that is not possible because every community has its own specific uh, cultural characteristics. So it's, it's very important if we want to make sure that the communication strategy that follows actually responds to their needs. So once we have all, all this data, uh, we formulate a communication strategy that will use the tools that have been selected or agreed upon in a participatory way with the beneficiaries themselves. What's important in, you know, in all this process is to make sure that we do whatever decision is taken is taken in collaboration with the beneficiaries or with the stakeholders themselves. This will ensure that, uh, first of all, they're motivated you know, to take part in that action or in that particular uh, activity. Uh, but most of all, once they have taken ownership of that uh, development activity, they will continue to do so even after the project is ended.